All right, so this is kind of notes for lab two, Earth Sun geometry, and I'm making this whole setup to help just remind you some of the key points of the geometry that we've been working on on lab two. And so I have a little diagram, and I had the Earth in red and the Sun in the little yellow over here. So I got Sun up here, and I drew in for the date of July twentieth. The sun is at a 90 degree angle at 20 degrees north. And so I just kind of drew in my 90 degree angle and I brought it back to the center of the earth so that I can see the angles that I'm trying to find. I want to find it for my location, which is 41 degrees north. So this is where I am. And I want to find the sun angle. So to do that, the first step is to find the zenith. And the zenith is the degrees of separation between where the sun is at 90 and where I stand. So if I'm standing at 41 degrees in the northern hemisphere and the sun is at 20 degrees north at the 90 degree angle, then my zenith my zenith is going to be 41 minus 20. 21 degrees. So that is this distance right here or this in here. It's 21 degrees of separation. So now to find the sun angle, I'm going to take 90 minus my zenith, which is 21 degrees, and I will get the answer of my sun angle. So the 10 minus 1 is 9, 8 minus 2 is 6, 69 degrees sun angle. So what we're actually saying is that if I took my sun and I made an angle from the sun to where I stand, whoop, my line is not wanting to make a nice clean line for me. Ooh, it's jumping around. Let's try that again. If I made a line here, we are saying that this this angle here is going to be 69 degrees. So the sun's pretty high overhead. I can take this even a step further and find how many units of sun energy I can get in this little area. So if I was to take the area right where we were, right in here, and I wanted to know how much unit of sunlight energy I'm getting at this angle in here that I just drew that little line in there. And that I can do the equation of 1 divided by the sine of the sun angle. So to do this part, all I have to do is plug my sun angle into this equation, I can get how much unit. And it should be um, just above 1, but not by much. So let's see if I can do a little erasing to make some room so that I can write out my equation. And so to plug this in, I'm going to do 1, which will all be divided over the sine of 69. and I get 1.07 unit. And the reason why we use an arbitrary thing called unit for sunlight is because sunlight varies in its strength. Um, so while it can be averaged out, it's an average for the sunlight for that day. So it's just called unit. And that means that if I was to set up my angles on a flat surface, so this is us standing on the flat, so if this is us standing at the flat surface and my angle of sunlight beaming in is 69 degrees and my zenith is going back to the 21 degrees on my average, I am basically squaring out the unit of sunlight. And if I was to draw an angle, which I'm going to use a, a square for, that way I can make it nice and clean as a right angle, what I'm saying, just ignore the top half of this, 
and look at the bottom half of the square. So this bottom half, I just want it nice and clean. What I'm saying is that the unit of sunlight that is shared over the distance at 41 degrees north latitude on July 20th. It's TH because that's the date. So that's what we're sharing is 1.07 unit sunlight. So I hope that helped make it clear. You should be able to know what a zenith is and what, how to find a sun angle, and then how that applies to the amount of sunlight at a given place in a given time of year. And uh, hopefully this helps. Best of luck completing things.